This video introduces us to the Gift of Life event. It is about the people of Walsall, the Walsall Healthcare Trust, as well as the local people in the community. It describes events that have happened in their various lives, in which they have been involved in the donation of organs and tissues. You will meet people who ha have, in one way or the other, enhanced the lives of other people. Very privileged and, and honoured to be um, taken the office of mayor for um, 2013 and 2014. Did you know the oldest recorded uh, cornea donor was 104? Prior to having a transplant, I felt ill. Um, I had swollen legs, felt very lethargic, not wanting to take part in any activities. Day to day was quite traumatic for myself. After receiving um, a transplant, a transplanted kidney, my life changed for the best. I then realised how ill I was because um, I was able to sit up um, and do things. Work didn't seem so traumatic. Going to bed early was just a no-no now. I could take my hobbies. I'm basically born again. So to me, a person who, gi who gives an organ, whether it's to a relative or a or complete stranger, to me, is an hero. My name is Dean Marriott, and I'm a police officer at Warsaw Police Station. Did you know one donor can save up to nine lives. Having been on dialysis um, on and off now for 21 years, um, back on dialysis since 2009 I think it was, uh, having my second kidney fail. And if I didn't have my treatment, basically my life would be non-existent and you can be dead within two weeks. Having a tra kidney transplant is truly, really a gift of life. That's the only words I can put it. Having had two previous transplants, the second one was a little bit better for me. Um, I lived two years free from treatment. Even though I didn't know what to do myself, it was like, wow, I just want to go mad and do things. Hello, my name's Tom Jackson, Westminster's Ambulance Service. Did you know you're more likely to need a transplant than be a donor? It was quite sudden for us because he's a very, very active and very sort of like uh, full of life and energetic person. I would go home and I would be just restless. I would go home and at five o'clock I'll just lie down and I'll be on the sofa for the next 16 hours. No social life, no working, no talking. I'll be just dead man and just in a bad mood. I was so tired. The consultant at QE asked us to think on the lines of uh, do a transplant, like a kidney transplant. Um, and uh, that's how actually we started to think that that's like a major sort of an issue. And then after about three years of this difficult life, I had my, my, my transplant done and that was done in 2009. And within uh, eight to 10 weeks of the transplant, I was back at work and this has changed my whole life though. My whole, the, it is very true that the donation gives you life though. The whole life is changed and I, I am back to work. And since then, I've never taken a single day off my job. I've been coming to my normal job, normal on calls, social life, and I'm just a back. Although I'm nearly 60 now, but I look at 21. And I think this is the best gift that you can give somebody. This is the gift of life. My name is Lee Wilkes and I work for the West Midlands Fire Service. Did you know it is important to discuss your wishes with the people closest to you? Sadly, I lost Colleen very, very suddenly on the 11th of April. Uh, we'd been out in the caravan, he drove home, everything was normal, and all of a sudden he just said that he didn't feel very well. Um, I said, shall I get a doctor? And he said, no, I'm fine. But there was a alarm bells in the tone of his voice and I dialed paramedic straight away. Um, to all intents and purposes, he'd, I'd lost him within half an hour. There was no hesitation as far as I'm concerned. Um, we hadn't actually discussed it at great length, 
but I knew that years ago he did carry a donor card. So I knew that by giving consent for his organs to be donated, it would have been what he wanted. From my point of view, he lives on. That, that's the only way I can describe it. My husband lives on through others. I would say to anyone, please, please, uh, sign up for the donor register. And I think really it's the most wonderful thing anybody can do. It's a gift of life. You've lost the person you love, but it gives other people who they love the chance of life. Did you know that almost 20 million people in the UK have already signed on to the NHS Organ Donor Register? Anyone can register on the Organ Donation Register. Age isn't a barrier and neither are most medical conditions. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for listening to the various members of staff of the uh, NHS Trust as well as the community in Warsaw who have told you about their donation and also those who have received organs from loved ones. You can make a difference. Discuss your wishes with friends and family. Decide if the organ donor register is for you. And give the, the gift, gift of, of life. life.